Okay, everybody put your hands together, please. I was told that one time we didn't have music. I don't know about it. I wasn't all right there, now, but all put right. your hands together because we're going with, with to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. Oh, yeah. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. You can't turn me. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't turn me. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. Sometimes I gotta fast and pray. Sometimes I gotta steal away. Sometimes I gotta cry out to heaven, Lord. I know if I hold my peace, the Lord will take care of me. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. 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 You can't stop me. You can't turn me. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. Sometimes I gotta fast and pray. Sometimes I gotta steal away. Sometimes I gotta cry out to help me, Lord. But I know if I hold my peace, the Lord will take care of me. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. You can't stop me. You can't turn me. I'm going with Jesus. Now keep it right there. I'm going with Jesus. I got my ticket in my hand. And I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. I'm packing up. I'm getting ready. I'm packing up. Get ready, don't you wanna go with me? Don't you wanna go with me? I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm gonna see the man that healed my body. I'm gonna see the man who put food on my table. I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm packing up. I'm getting ready. I'm packing up. I'm getting ready. Don't you wanna go with me? Don't you wanna go with me? I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm gonna see King Jesus. I'm gonna see. The man who put food on my table to go see the man who put clothes on my backyard to go see King Jesus. I'm back it up. I'm back it up. I'm back it up. I'm back it up. I'm back it, it up. Don't you wanna go? Wanna go with me? I'm packing up, getting ready. I'm packing up, getting ready. 
I'm packing up, getting ready. I'm packing up, getting ready. I'm packing up, getting ready. I'm packing up, I'm going with Jesus. I'm packing up, and I'm going with Jesus. For those of you that have tuned in, yes, you have tuned in to the Solid Rock Baptist Church. We are located in Brooklyn, New York. The zip is 11206. Where God is still on the throne. Yes. I want to thank our mass choir and the leader, Sir Doris Chapman, for singing. I'm packing up. I'm going with Jesus. Yes. Well, certainly we are grateful for God today. Those of you that watch him may not see, but we are going to the water. The Lord has blessed us with uh, another soul. Amen. Another soul that have found a, a chance to tell, tell the devil that he's alive. Yes. Because God is still saving. Yes. God is still moving. Yes. In spite of what all you're going through, he's still moving in our lives today. We want to thank you, uh, Lord, for this candidate that we're able and thank all of our leaders, amen, for your support and for your prayers and to our deacons and deaconesses and to our mothers, our spiritual aspects of the church. We praise God for you this morning that God just continue to bind our hearts. And that God continue to give us the wisdom and, and the understanding and the strength in times like these to keep on pressing on. For we know he's able, but we understand that he's still God. And because he's God all by himself, we, we can do it. And that's why the word said, I can do all things through Christ with Strengthens me. If you turn with me, though, the good at watching in the sanctuary to the book of Proverbs, and we want to say universal wise to all of our fathers today as we celebrate this day that has been set aside nationwide and universal wide to honor the head of our household, honor the heads of our creation that God had created men and had given him power and dominion over all the fowls and the fishes of the sea. We thank God and today we salute you. We salute you in his wonderful name. Proverbs 3, 13 and 14 verse said, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Finding the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and of the grain. Thereof that find it gold. Happy is the man that find it wisdom and the man that get it understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, gold, and the grain thereof that find it gold. You may be seated. I want to talk about thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. And as we, amen, pause and to salute the father, uh, Abraham was the father of our nation and all of our biological fathers. We 
want to say to you in order for you to be able to be the father that God is calling you for today is that you have to find Jesus. Because it's, it's a task. Because you understand that God has given us charge and has given us power over all the fowls. And it's very difficult and very challenging because God told us as the men of the earth to go in to be providers. We have to provide for our families. And sometimes in order to be able to provide for the family, amen, that's a challenge because now you got to provide for not only the family, but you got to make sure that they are protected. Protected. And not only that, you might have to make sure there's a roof over the head, also that to make sure there's food on the table. And not only in the midst of, amen, being a provider, we got to make sure that we are have employment. Let's look at it. And what are you saying here? Thank God for Jesus. It's because not only that we have to try to be a provider, but we have to make sure that the family, because what happened, the Bible says, when a man came to rule his house, how can he rule the church or how can he rule the body of God? Make sense? Because what he say, I've given you the authority, I've given you the power, is because what? I have given you that from the beginning. Now I have entrusted that in you, in other words, to bring the family together. One writer said, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. I was talking to one young man this morning, he was saying, Lord, every time I look around, there's always something. Now I got another hurdle. I got to jump. I said, jumping hurdles is all right, but you know one thing? God is trying to speak to you. Can I get a witness? God, God is trying to get your attention, but he's going to get your attention one way or the other. When, when, when there will be time that you just stand still, he said, you know what? Pastor, I never thought of it like that. I said, because God has given you, and he's given you chance after chance after chance. What do you have to do, praise God, to get you to understand that you got to move from that old company? What do you have to do to get you to understand you got to stop nipping? Come on, somebody. Can I get a witness? Because every time you do it, it messes you up. And that's what God speaks to us. How can you be a strong father without Jesus? But how can you be any type of person without Jesus? God is the source because what happened, beloved? God won't. There's a please they say that God would not give you a mouth that He could not feed. God wouldn't deliver you if He couldn't take care of you. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And sometimes when we go through our trouble, they are only just trials that gonna get us to the next level. But sometimes what happened with Solomon is saying here, thank God for Jesus, we got to surround ourselves by folks that going up. Miller Jackson said, I can do bad. Oh, I don't need nobody to help me mess up. I don't need nobody to help me do bad. But I don't wanna I don't wanna do bad. I, I wanna be like Jacob. Let's go to the Lord and say, Lord, I ain't gonna let you go. Y'all have a witness here? I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. I want to go hold on to somebody. That's when the devil was going up. Jacob said, Lord, let your matter. Yes, yes. Preach. Let your matter fall on me because I want to be better than who I am. In order to be, because fathers, men, it's a big responsibilities. And why you think your sons revert to the streets and reverse the gangs? 
is because you don't give them that attention. They need that father image. How come you think Michael Jordan and how come uh, what's that one plays on Miami uh, Heat? Ryan John, how come for because what happened? That image that they bring, it would happen, it's despised young folk. It gives folks the motivation to want to press on, isn't that right? But why not being father when we got our son? We tell him, see, you don't want to tell them about the traps out there in the streets and life. Right? Gotta tell them. But most of all, we have to be that example. Amen. Your kids look up to you. They emulate you. Yes. You don't believe it? Watch them. And we tell them, I don't know where you get that from. I, I don't know where you pick that up from. But they watch us. They watch what we do. What we say. Men got to stand up Amen. and thank God for Jesus. Solomon here was a man and he wanted to tell us he was a wise man. Solomon knew in if you read the book of Proverbs, Proverbs is nothing but wisdom. Wisdom is what is the power of truth to be able to discern. That, that's all. That's all. That's all. Wisdom is. Wisdom is is, is is the power that you have to be able to discern. In other words, what means to be able to make the right decisions. And if I can ask you, and you be very honest with yourself, and say that there are some things in your life, if you knew what you knew now, you wouldn't have done them. Can I get a witness? It's because now you're able now to discern a man right from wrong. You're saying now if I could know what I know now I wouldn't have made so many of those mistakes. See I don't call them mistakes. I call it experience. It's because when you make those type of Discernment, or you make those type of decision. Every decision in your life, you need to learn from it. Some decision gonna bring you positive results. Some decision gonna bring you not so good results. But with every results that doesn't fit in, that doesn't cause you to continue to move forward. That's why Paul said, "I press forward to the mark of a high calling, huh? Which is in Christ Jesus. I thank God." For Jesus, isn't that right? So sometimes what happens as I was talking to the young man this morning, sometimes you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over. And I so often tell you, if you keep doing the same thing over and over, you're going to get the same results. Can I get a witness? But until you decide to do something different, that's when a different result, a different result gonna happen and in that different result what it gonna cause you to do it may cause you to feel just a little uncomfortable because you're not accustomed to that you're not accustomed with that feeling but I guarantee you beloved if you keep pressing on and taking every every discernment every decision and weigh it and that's how we grow that's how we grow in God we look at it and say man let me see how my spiritual walk with God. Let me see. Can I feel the presence of God? Worshiping God is an individual thing, Pastor. Worshiping God is, is an individual. Can nobody get you into heaven but you? Because Jesus said only the pure in heart. Can I get a witness? Only the pure in heart go see me. So Solomon was a wise man in the Bible. He knew Deacon Brown, the importance of wisdom or the lack of wisdom. He knew that when he made a mistake, and one thing I got to understand, uh, uh, Father, is when you know every decision, a man may not be the best decision, so that's why I say communication is very important. I don't care what nobody say, talking, dialoguing is very important because a solid mind, you can't read sometimes people's mind. You, you, you go to these psychics and you pay them five dollars, two dollars here, and they sit down here and read you, amen, some zodiac type of thing. 
But nobody knows exactly what's on your mind. But when you begin to touch, that's what the psychiatrists do. Sit down and say, what's going on? Can I get a witness? I've never been on the couch, but sometimes I feel like I need to go and talk to somebody. Can I get a witness? But you sit down there and ask you, what's going on? What are you feeling right now? Same thing with the doctor. When you go to the doctor, you get paid. The doctor say, what's wrong with you today? And you start telling him, and because of his study, science study, he begin to prognose and diagnose what's going on with you. He begin to understand what's going on in your head. You know, I gotta, I want to keep getting these migraines headed right across it. They're considered migraines, and and okay, keep talking to me. What else happening? Do you break out in sweats? Or, come on, I, huh? But when you begin to understand what's going on in your life and your walk, men, with God, you be able to be able to be a man. That's what Solomon, he knew when he error. He knew when he was supposed to do. That's what Paul said. When I find myself doing good, evil is on every hand. And every time I make one step, huh, something else seems to throw me back. That's the way life is. Life don't want you to achieve. But the only one who wants you to be successful is God. That's why we're saying, Father, thank God for Jesus. Plays, wisdom plays a daily important in our lives. Solomon here is encouraging us to seek wisdom. Amen. The truth to be able to discern right and wrong. And I've learned, I've learned as being parents, as being Amen. A father is understand once your kids get to a certain age, all you can do is tell them right from wrong. That's why the Bible said train a child. Amen. While they are young. And when they get old, they begin to depart. At least but most time I think what's happening is that we don't want to plant a later foundation. We got to lay that foundation. And when we lay that foundation, there ought to be some type of Christ in your life. And that's why when I see my daughters, I praise God from their beautiful young ladies. And some of them had uh, made their own choices and decisions in life. But I thank God for them. Amen. And I say, Lord, now what I do, I can go to sleep at night. Lord, I put them in your hand. Can I get a witness? I've done that. I'm going to always be daddy. I'm going to always be there for them. But then now they got to take what daddy and mama had taught them and spiral off of that and become responsible adults in the society. But the only way that we can do that if you've got to stand up and be a man and hold on to your responsibility. Can I get a witness? No matter what. Be there for them. So Solomon understood and assured that he will succeed if our efforts are sincere. And I want to say to us as we grow in and become men in life, let our efforts be sincere. So many hypocritical people very, but be, be sincere. I was telling, amen, somebody just the other day also say, I don't mind folk telling me they don't like me. For real. I, 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 I don't mind that. Because now I know where you're coming from. I know how to deal with you now. But don't make me believe you like me. If I'm talking to anybody here today, huh? No, don't, don't be hypocritical. Look, okay, look. Let me know that that's why the Bible says when he said we need to be honest with one another. But when you become sincere in your worship, it causes you to sing when you don't want to. When you're sincere in your worship. It caused you to praise God, not because who around you. It began to praise God because of what God has done for you in your life. Can I get a witness? 
Because God said, if I be lifted up, in that right, in that right system, there, He'll still give you power when you begin to lift up Jesus. So many of us wants to, Amen, come in sheep clothing, but our hearts are far from God, and we treat one another like that. We treat one another hypocritical. But God is calling for people to be sincere. Sincere by our nature. Man is without wisdom. You that don't have wisdom. You that, amen, can't discern. You that, amen, find yourself get caught up. Amen. And not right, making right decisions. Because you got to understand that when you find yourself in a whole lot of confusion, Something wrong. Amen. Because, because you got to understand, God, God said he's a God of peace. Can I get a witness? Amen. And, and there is something wrong. Every time some mess come up, your name come up, you need to check that. You need to check that at the door. Can I get a witness? Because you know one thing? Because what happened here, what happened here, I have a reputation. I have a character. You are not going to let anybody... Praise God, tear down your reputation and call and allow you to become hypocritical. Stop it at the door. Stop it at the door. And when you allow folks to do you that, they stain you. You can't walk and talk about you know God, you got the Bible under your arm, but every time some confusion come up, your name come up. You can't tell about praising God running down the aisle and every time some confusion come up, your name come up. Does that make sense? But I won't allow, allow folks to, amen, drag my name down because I work too hard to get home. I work too hard to try to get into the kingdom of God. God say, yeah, you got to be sincere. By nature, we must seek God through prayer. From only God who gives to all men liberally. God will give you the direction in which you ought to be able to go. Men, when your children have done something and by you being ahead, you can't always go off. You got the baby to sit down and a lot of us hear, but we don't listen. We hear, and we hear what we want to hear, but we got to be able to discern through listening. And 99%, if you listen, somebody going to tell you what they're upset about. If you listen. If you listen. But sometimes we listen, and we got to be as careful when we ask them, I need you to tell me the truth. You got to be able to position yourself. Are you ready for the truth? Are you ready? And I have seen so many relationships break up because one told the truth. So many friendships have broken up. Because one have told the truth. Now if the truth is not something you want to hear. Now it's time to figure that. Now how do we go forward now? Can I live with it? Or I got to let it go? And there's ways of departing. It don't happen when you depart friendship. When you depart a man relationship. You don't always have to tear one another down. No, there, there, there's a way of departing. There's a way of, uh, amen, doing it the way God will require for us to do it peacefully. God gives us wisdom liberally. But you got to want it. You got to ask for it. There are two types of wisdom. There's earthly wisdom, which is kernel. And there is godly wisdom. Earthly wisdom is how we think naturally. 
is the old law said two for two, eye for eye. You got me, and I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> and, and, and I'm talking to anybody, and that right? That that's early wisdom. And you know that there are some people, Amen. They plot, they live to get you back. They live to make sure that they make a point that you cannot do that to me. But there is godly wisdom where we operate where the Lord said vengeance belongs to me. Godly wisdom means pray for those that they spitefully use you. And I know sometimes in praying, sometimes God don't seem like he asks you. Don't seem like he answered your prayer. Because many times I ask and say, Lord, where are you? But somebody say he may not come when I want him. Just like he told Israel, just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And when we learn how to stand and let God operate in our lives, God is not going to operate like the world operates. God is going to move by his spirit. See, God has got a way of dealing with us. And we don't need a Magnum 357. We don't need smitten weather. We don't need blades. But God got plagues. Can I get a witness? God got a way of putting you flat on your back. God got a way. Come on, somebody, huh? God got a way of making you making us fall on our knees. Isn't that right? He, he's got a way. All we got to do when we come together, bind together in one chain of war, and then God move. Godly wisdom, which is spiritual, of course. Solomon was speaking about godly wisdom. While wisdom is not easily come by, we must pursue restlessly, stay before God. We must cry out before God. Lord, in your name, I need you to direct my paths. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Lord, I want you to order my steps. Can I get a witness? You got to ask for that wisdom. Lord, I don't know you, but I, I want to experience you. Because he said, if I got to worship you, you say I must worship you in spirit and in truth. I don't know what that is, but all I know that I was seeking deep in sin one day. Far from the people's fault. But I heard a voice love have lifted me. Do I have a witness? Will he lift you? Will he hold you? Will he take care of you? But oh God, he's our thank God for Jesus. Because he's the one that woke us up this morning. He's the one that given us our right mind. Oh, beloved, it's not easy, but I thank God that every chance I get, and when I enter into his court, I enter in with praise. But I don't know about you, but I love the Lord. I don't know about you, but I got to give God some praise. I don't know about you. But I want to say thank God for Jesus. But if it had not been for the Lord on my side, can I get this? Men have given up on me. But Jesus has raised me, give me power. We must take great pride, pain in our seeking Jesus. We must tarry just a little while longer. We must call on him in the midnight hour. Sometimes many of us don't want to 
afraid, amen. We want to get up pretty fast. But I come to tell you, uh, you need to stay down there a little while. Uh, call Jesus. Uh, the life that man who did, amen, one precious Jew. Uh, out of the mind comes Jesus' power. We must improve our wisdom. We must have born by knowledge and grace. Uh, we must tell the Lord, I need you every day. Uh, keep me every night. Uh, I need you to walk with me. Uh, I need you to talk with me. Uh, I need you to let me know that I'm Lord. Uh, do I have anybody here? Uh, Lord, uh, give God some praise. Uh, and say, Lord, uh, I thank you for Jesus uh, that came down uh, 42 old generation. Uh, I thank God for Jesus uh, that been ripped on the cross. Uh, yeah, uh, went down in the grave. Uh, and somebody said, yeah. One Sunday morning, uh, I thank God for Jesus. Uh, he got up uh, with all vows uh, in his hand. Uh, can you lift him up? Uh, yeah, uh, and tell somebody, uh, my little Lord, uh, he heard my cry. He pitied my every ball. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, he lifts me up. Uh, tell me it was a me on my way. I thank you, Lord. I could have been there. in my way. I thank you, Lord. You were with me in the hospital. I thank you, Lord. I may not have done it all. I thank you, Lord. You've been my wheel in the middle of the wheel. You've been my wheel. the Lord. Thank God. Come on, lift him up. Come on, lift him up. Come on, lift him up. Lift him high. Come on, lift him high. Hallelujah. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And I'm on the
that my Savior I met him with a smile He healed my wound the spirit He on me had his out Around the throne of grace He appointed my soul a place And I want the battlefield for my love. Oh, I'm on the battlefield for my love. Oh, I'm on the battlefield for my love. Now save him, oh, oh, from our, come on, give God some praise, if you are on the battlefield, come on, give him some praise. Come on, we can do better, come on, give him some more praise. He's another soldier. He's another soldier. A young soldier. Come on, somebody. A child should lead us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God that our young people, so they got to be and they didn't commend you. There is somebody lies in their past life they're watching to understand at such an early age we need to connect with God. We thank God for a slew of our young people. Pray for them because there is so much out there that can distract them. But they have decided along with their leader we go follow Jesus. Somebody ought to give God some praise. We go follow Jesus. God bless you. Our lovely church clerk we Who have, do we have? We have Mr. Jeremy Darkin of 5452 Marcy Avenue coming as a candidate for baptism. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. In God of God of God. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Amen for Brother Jeremy who have come. Amen. And the proper age and have consent in his mother. That's all right, love. Amen. Amen. She said he can speak for himself. Yeah. Amen. When they come down for Jesus, and we thank God for, amen, his mother, Jeanette, amen. and his grandmother for yes. walking in the light, yes. keeping them in the church, yes. in spite of all, keeping them and let them know that God is our source. God is our way. And whatever we do, we must do it in the spirit of God. My brother, you've heard the report coming from our church. Clerk, what are your pledge? I make the recommendation that we be accepted by the candidate. My brother and sister, you heard it has been moved and seconded by our officers. Amen. That brother Jeremy, after completing the new membership class, be a candidate for baptism. Amen. Are you ready for a question? All in favor by saying aye. All in favor by giving God some praise. Come on, give him God some praise. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, I have it. Brother Jeremy, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Stay with God. Welcome. Amen. I'll just complete the thing with, amen, Dr. Frazier. Hey, come on, give him some love, Lord. Come on, give him some love. Come on, give him some love. Amen. Come on, give him some love. Amen. Come on, give him some love. Amen. Now we're getting ready. Hallelujah. Take me to the world. Our scripture reading. Take me to the Those of you that wants to go by the water, you can. Take me to the water. I know somebody wants to see her go down in the water. I know somebody want to witness this great a car. 
Nothing but the right. You got a smile. Nothing but the right. Great. I will be okay. reading Saint um, Saint Matthew. Nothing but chapter three, Minister. one to the six verse. Minister. And every Give deep my time. And those days yes, came I do. Preaching in the wilderness of Judea. And said, Repent, repent. The key for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But that's the thing that was spoken of by the prophet. Nothing more to write. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Nothing more to write. Bring up him. Oh, my and his feet was locusts and wild honey. Then went oh, up in all Judea and all the region around about Jordan and were baptized of him in the Jordan, confessed in their sins. Yes, I watched this I verses of St. Matthew, the fourth chapter. Minister William, give us a short track, Consecrate the Water. Take me to the wall. Take me to the wall. Oh, I do. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. Lord, just take us to the water, Lord Jesus. Hey, just take us to the Lord, Jesus. Oh, God, we need you right now, Lord. As the young lady that's going to be baptized, Lord. Oh Lord, this washing, fill up, Lord, with your word. Fill up with the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, just cover and watch and order and direct her path, Lord. Oh Lord, as she go down in the water, just wash her clean, Lord. Bring her back up brand new, Lord Jesus. Oh hallelujah, bring her back up brand new, Lord. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Oh how I love you. I do nothing but the right. Oh Lord, nothing but the right. Yes. Nothing but the right. Yes. Shall she go? Oh, how I love him, oh Lord. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love him. Yes, I do. Take me to the Lord, oh Lord. Take me to the Woo! I love it. Take me to the Oh, Jesus. Yes, I do. Bianca, it is cold. Woo! And I got boots on. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm gonna have to do this quick. I ain't gonna get you sick here. In obedience to the great head of the church, here we have little Bianca. Stepped out on faith. Now I got in the liquid grave. Bianca, I'm gonna baptize you in the name of the Father. I'm gonna baptize you in the name of the Son. I'm gonna baptize you in the name of the Holy Ghost. Bianca, they all Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.